Hey everybody! In a video the first few seconds are especially important. A viewer will decide in the first moments whether the video is interesting enough to look further or not. For this reason you should also invest enough time in the title sequence. In this video I will show you how to quickly and easily create and animate a cinematic title. I use Final Cut Pro 10 to animate my titles. However, all principles can also be applied to all other editing programs. This channel is about tutorials on filmmaking, GoPro, drones and it's also always about the beauty of mountains and nature. Consider subscribing if you are new here and have fun with this video. Before I show you how I created my title in Final Cut Pro, I would like to explain a few important design principles that apply to all titles. When you create a title, you should follow these rules. Use a simple design and few simple animations. For bigger professional projects, of course, complex sequences can be created. However, these are completely different types of projects. Use a maximum of two fonts for a title and subtitle. In my example I used only one. Personally I prefer sans serif fonts. They are easier to read and look more cinematic in my opinion. A title has a specific purpose. It tells the viewer the name of your video. It should therefore be in line with the content and the images. A particularly small title sometimes looks cinematic. But it is hardly readable on small devices like a smartphone. So think about the devices your video will be viewed on. Also pay attention to sufficient contrast and the right colors. I also prefer capital letters. Now let's see how you can quickly and easily create your own cinematic title in Final Cut Pro. Add a so-called custom title to your video and enter your text. Since I will use Final Cut Pro's assistant for the animation, I will only use one text field. Although I will split my text into two lines. If you want to animate your title using keyframes, you should enter two separate text fields. Now choose a font. Final Cut offers you several fonts, many of which I like very much. For this example I use Bank Gothic. Now adjust the size. I usually format one line smaller than the other. This makes part of the title more important. For a cinematic title I prefer capital letters. So I'm activating all caps. Then I use tracking to adjust the space between the individual letters. Under face, you can change the color if necessary. I will leave my text white. Once you are satisfied with the design of your text, you can start with the animation. Open the inspector for the text animations with the tab T. Creating your own text animation is extremely easy in Final Cut Pro. In these situations, you can see the real strength of the software. All settings that begin with the word in stand for animations to make the text appear. The settings without stand for animations to make the text disappear. I want my text to appear with a fade in effect. For this I use opacity and set the value to zero, so the text is completely transparent at first. Since I don't want the text to appear letter by letter, but always align as a whole, I change in unit size to the value line and we have a nice fade in effect. We can enhance the effect by adding some blur. I use a value between 4 and 5. Now you can decide if you want the animation to run fast or slower. You can adjust this under duration. In addition, you can make the animation even more organic if you let it start slowly and end quickly. To do this, change the value under in speed to accelerate. I am now satisfied with the animation for the fade in. To make the title disappear, I will use a simple fade out effect. For this I set out opacity to zero and change the unit size to all, because the text should disappear as a whole. And finally adjust the speed. And my simple cinematic animation is ready. All animations can of course also be done with keyframes. This is useful if you want to adjust the animation exactly to the beat of the music. As you can see, Final Cut offers you a few more effects for text animations. Just try whatever you like. But remember that simple animations often look better and more professional. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this and see you next time. Thank you.